In this video, I'm going to run through how you can find the Maclaurin series for ln 1 plus x. So let's start by defining y equals ln 1 plus x. And I'm going to go in a slightly strange direction here, but you'll see why by the end of this video. So I'm going to find the derivative of ln 1 plus x. And just like the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, the derivative of ln 1 plus x is 1 over 1 plus x. And this is going to let us set up quite an interesting trick that's usually a nice shortcut to finding Maclaurin series. If you can find the relationship between what you're looking for and a known series, you can actually do things a lot faster. And so the trick that I'm going to use is to say that ln 1 plus x is equal to the integral from 0 to x of 1 over 1 plus t dt. So I've switched the x for t because I'm taking the integral from 0 to x. And in other words, what I'm basically saying is that ln 1 plus x is equal to the integral of its derivative. If you integrate something's derivative, you end up with the thing you had at the beginning. So it's kind of cancelling out. And in fact, the Maclaurin series of 1 over 1 plus t is actually very well known. So if you knew that, you could just integrate and instantly get the answer. But let's actually prove what the Maclaurin series of 1, plus, of 1 over 1 plus t is. So our formula for the Maclaurin series is that f of t is simply starting at f of 0. Then you do all your derivatives and you're evaluating all of these at 0. So you'd start by defining f of t as 1 over 1 plus t. That's the function that we're interested in finding the Maclaurin series for. We evaluate that at 0 by substituting t equals 0 in. That's obviously 1 over 1, which is simply 1. We need to find the derivative of this, and you should spot that 1 plus t on the bottom is simply going to become 1 plus t to the power of minus 1. So when we find the derivative, we're going to end up with this. So we've multiplied by the minus 1 at the front and subtracted 1 from the power. If we substitute t equals 0, we end up with this evaluation giving us minus 1. We then need to find the derivative again. We have got the chain rule going on here as well, but The inside function is simply giving plus one, so it's almost like we can ignore it in this case. So if we'll find the derivative here, we need to multiply by minus two and then subtract one from the power. This minus becoming plus, and we've got the two here, and then we've got the minus three, so we have subtracted one. If we evaluate this at zero, we end up with two, and then we can repeat this process. So multiply by minus three, subtract one from the power, And we end up with this. Again, evaluate at zero is going to give you minus six. So basically all of this is gone and you're left with minus six on its own. Then we take this minus four, multiply by it to get 24, subtract one, giving us minus five. And of course we get this. Again, evaluated at zero, we've just got the constant term out front, which is 24. We can take each of these and substitute into our big formula for f of t and we end up with this series. Now, if you look closely, 2 over 2 factorial, 2 factorial is 2 times 1, so we're getting 2 over 2. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. 3 times 2 is 6 times 1 is still 6, so it's cancelling out. And you get exactly the same thing, 24 over 4 factorial is ending up as simply being 1. And the wonderful thing about the series of 1 over 1 plus t in terms of its Maclaurin series, is that it's such a simple expression. It's 1 minus t plus t squared minus t cubed. So it's just alternating between pluses and minuses. So we've got a really nice Maclaurin series here. So let's remind ourselves of what we've done. We have found the Maclaurin series of 1 over 1 plus t. And we have established that ln 1 plus t is equal to the integral of our expansion here. So we can just do a simple substitution. And so there's our series that we've worked out. We need to find the integral. And we just do that very simply. So the one is becoming t. Then your t is becoming t squared. And you're dividing by 2. And then it's the same thing all the way along. And then we can evaluate this 0 to x. And we end up with this expansion. And we can write that as a series, and we end up with that as our final answer. So we have proved the Maclaurin series of 1 over 1 plus t. Use this property 
to obtain this. There is actually an even simpler way of doing this. Assuming that you already knew what this 1 over 1 plus T's Maclaurin series was, you can actually jump much, much faster. So there is a famous Maclaurin series that says that 1 over 1 minus X is simply the summation of X to the power N. If we wanted to change this to be plus X, we'd substitute in X equals minus X, and that would end up with this series here. So you see that we can actually do this way faster by using series. We know that ln x plus 1 is equal to the integral of this, so we simply integrate this, and we end up with exactly the same result. And so just by using one Maclaurin series, we can almost instantly work out another Maclaurin series. So there's a lot of clever tricks that you can use to simplify finding Maclaurin series. So I hope this video was very informative to you and you've seen some additional alternative approaches to finding Maclaurin series and a full proof of the Maclaurin series of LN1 plus X. And finally, thank you very much for watching.